everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my acne journey. I have gotten it mostly under control and I want to talk about what that experience was like and how I got it under control so that hopefully some of these tips can help you out and hopefully we can normalize acne too because while well, I wanted to get rid of it, it's completely okay to have it and I made an effort to not purposefully cover up all of my acne in all of my YouTube videos because I want to normalize having acne because it's not bad. But like it's okay to want to get rid of it if I'm making any sense. So I started to get acne in the fifth grade like any young kid going through puberty does. Started out originally mostly on my forehead. I had bangs at the time. My bangs would get greasy then I'd get some acne popping up on my forehead non-stop. It was painful. It was frustrating. I got rid of my bangs. Boom! Most of my forehead acne was gone. But I had acne across the rest of my face too. I got acne on my chin from playing the flute. You just like really rest your instrument right here on your chin and it would cause acne because I played so much. It was not a fun experience. I just had somewhat of a normal amount of acne and sometimes it would get worse if I would pick at it, which let's just say like everybody picks at their acne and like you may think like, ew, that's gross, but like everybody does that and like, it just is what it is. But then I went on birth control for endometriosis and my acne got tons worse. And I was like, screw this, I am going to go get help. And I also had bumps all over my arms that I thought was acne. So after several different birth control types, I finally settled on one that helped with my endometriosis and it helped with my acne a little bit. Now, if you have female organs and you are interested in birth control, because birth control does sometimes help with acne, I recommend using Norlida if you aren't using it to prevent pregnancy. Norlida is one that has only one hormone in it, so it has less side effects. It has helped with my acne some, and that was just a little unexpected side effect to the medication, and it helps with my endometriosis, but it won't help you stop pregnancy. But it, this does help with acne somewhat. So my acne wasn't giving up. I was having acne all down my arms or like these bumps. I'm not gonna call it acne. I'm just gonna call it bumps. I had bumps all over my arms and my back. I was embarrassed. I could barely wear a t-shirt out in public because I was so afraid that everyone would see all the bumps. And if you look at any of my thumbnails on my YouTube videos, I edited the crap out of any part of my arm that was shown in the thumbnail and I edited the crap out of my face. Still do that a little bit, but not as bad. I was embarrassed, so eventually I decided to go to a dermatologist. I got a referral from my primary care doctor to a local dermatologist. A lot of people go on Accutane for your acne, which I get it, like some people need to go on Accutane, but Accutane has sometimes really bad side effects. It really dries your skin out really, really bad, and it can make you very suicidal. So I was put on something different, and the appointment was like 15 minutes long. Like, dermatologist can get you in and out if it's just a simple acne issue and she didn't really know what to do for my arms because as you're about to find out it wasn't anything the dermatologist could help with so the thing that she put me on that massively got rid of almost all of my acne as long as I don't touch and pick at my face is this little medication called adapalene it is a little gel I believe you may be able to get this over the counter as well because I remember when I got this she said if it was too expensive for your insurance there is an over the counter option. So this is just a little clear gel. See? Boop. And you put the gel all over your face but mainly in your problem areas. You don't want to like put it on your eyeballs or whatever. I started off doing this once every three nights then once every other night and now I do it every night. Drastically cleared up my acne and I did it really quickly and then it dries out your face a little bit but not as bad as Accutane. So I use this daily facial moisturizer from Cetaphil for my face. Now if you do this whether it's over the counter or prescription you want to make sure that no other products used in your face has folic acid and you want to make sure that nothing else used in your face is specific to acne has to be just generic cleansing, generic moisturizer. So I found this one. This one works really well for me. I have very sensitive skin and I have not had a reaction to either of these products. They have clearly cleared up my acne a ton. I'm going to include a picture like to the side somewhere of what my face looks like because to me it looks really bad. Now acne is normal and if you are okay with your acne then that is completely fine but I'm very self-conscious and I want to get rid of my acne, which isn't a bad thing. Like you can choose to keep your acne and it can be fine. You can choose to try and get rid of it. Either way, it's fine. But these are the magic cures that almost got rid of all of my acne. Now, this does have a tendency to dry out your eyelids, which really, really hurts. 
So what I do is when I put this on every night, I also have a little tub of Vaseline and I just dab Vaseline on my eyelids and voila, my eyelids are no longer dry and almost all of my acne is gone. It is amazing. That's a cat scratch. It's not acne. Almost all of my acne is gone thanks to these two amazing products. Now the bumps in my arms, they turned out to be a symptom of TMS. TMS is a condition that has multiple different names. It's sometimes known as a mind-body connection or psychological, physiological, whatever. And it's basically where you have stress, depression, anxiety, anger, those type of things. And because you aren't being treated in the right way or because you're not being treated for those mental health conditions at all, you can sometimes have skin issues. Now most of the time it's pain for people. For me, it's nausea and skin issues. From doing just a few months of treatment for TMS, which is just standard talk therapy with some little things that you're supposed to be doing to manage your symptoms, my bumps on my arm cleared up. Anything that's on my arm now is just normal patchiness of my skin with a couple scars. My arms are almost completely cleared and it is amazing. Oh, and the face wash that I use, because you still should be washing your face even if you're using these acne products, is this simple kind of skin moisturizing facial wash. Again, no folic acid in here and no acne stuff and my cat's whiskers were just on the screen. So these all were the magic products that fixed my acne. If I skip a night of using this, my acne will come back as you can see, but it works amazingly well. I highly recommend going to a dermatologist if you have acne and fully doing the treatment that they tell you to do. Dermatologists are really nice and it's such quick appointments and they have magically helped me with my acne situation. So yes, don't pick your face, use this gel and stop using those stupid acne face washes and your face will get better. So yeah, I mean, of course there's like cystic acne and whatever that can't be treated with these, but this will treat generalized acne. I hope all of you found this video to be really helpful. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. If you have any questions about my acne journey, Feel free to comment them down in the comment section below and I'll see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!